Hello traders, FS Pecoletti here. Today is Tuesday, August 29th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the dollar yen monthly, I still think this looks like a nice one, two, three. I think this move down is a four, and I still believe we're in a wave five, which I still think is going to end up looking something like this, going up to one of these two fib levels to potentially finish off a wave five of wave C. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think this is the end of a wave three. I think this is an ABC of four. First move up should be a one. I think this is a two. I still personally believe we're in a wave three, and eventually it's going to go up and make a wave three, a wave four, and a wave five. Probably a one, two, three, four, five of wave five. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I believe that this first wave 5 right here is a wave 1, a 1 of 5, and then ABC down for the wave 2. I think we're in a wave 3, and I think we have a long ways to go to the upside, so I'm for sure going to continue to look for longs, especially on sort of time frames. Going down to the 4-hour time frame. On the 4-hour time frame, since we had our last ABC cuts, and we've definitely been making higher highs, higher lows, no break of starts, it tells me that there's no reason to think that this uptrend is over and I'm definitely going to continue to look for longs on sort of time frames at least until I see some sort of a significant break of structure to the downside which we definitely have not seen yet. Going down to the one hour time frame, I think the last significant Stratzer level is way down here at this 100% level. So unless we get a break of Stratzer right there, I am definitely looking for longs. What happened today? Looks like one down, wave A. Corrective up, wave B. Looks like down again, wave C. Definitely respected the 38%. I think we may have another end of a crutz, and I am for sure looking for longs in an uptrend, like I said, at least until we get a significant break of starts to the downside. So if I see any more pullbacks, then I will continue to look for longs in an uptrend for the continuation of that big wave 5 trend that I was sowing on the much longer time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord group. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.